So on every patch bay, um, you have three different ways to configure how the signal flows from the top row, which is always outputs, to the bottom row, which is always inputs. Uh, I like to think of it like a waterfall is how I was taught. So the signal always comes out of the top and into the bottom. So out the top, outputs, and then down the waterfall and into the bottom um, where the bottom row is inputs. There's three ways to configure how the top and the bottom row work together. And those are called normal, half normal, and through or not normal. Uh, the first is normal, and that is a function where without a patch cable, the signal flowing out of the top row is connected to the piece of equipment receiving signal from the bottom row inside the patch panel. So there's no need to connect the top row to the bottom panel with a patch cable just to have the signal flow there. It does it automatically. However, with a normal, the minute that you put a patch cable in the top or the bottom rows, it breaks the normal. Um, and so if I want to take the output from the top and funnel that signal or route it into a totally different piece of equipment with a patch cable, it breaks that internal connection between the top row and the bottom row and that signal no longer passes without um, you replacing it with another patch cable or something. Um, half normal, it works the same way where without any cabling present, with no patch cable present, the top row is internally connected to the bottom row. However, if you place a patch cable into the top row of the output, the internal connection is maintained and you therefore have wide the signal or split it where internally it's still being connected to the bottom row and you can plug a cable on the top and route that same signal from the top row into a totally different piece of equipment, essentially copying it, splitting it, if you will, and sending it somewhere else. Um, however, if you plug a cable into the bottom row of a half normal connection, it does uh, eliminate that internal routing within the, the patch bay that connects the top row to the bottom row. Now the easiest one to remember is the through configuration or the not normal configuration and that is where despite a patch point being on the top row above a patch point on the bottom row output over input they're not connected at all for any reason um, until you connect the cable and actually physically connect them uh, and a good reason for that would be if you had two totally different pieces of equipment that you never meant to be connected um, together um, a great example of that would be the inputs and outputs of the same device being above and below each other. If they were internally connected with a half normal, it would be creating a feedback loop where the input would constantly be feeding the output or the output would constantly be feeding the input rather of the same piece of equipment creating you know, a lot of issues and potentially overdriving the input of that device and, and um, causing damage. So that would be a perfect example of when you would want to use a through configuration. So how is the uh, patch bay here at ACC set up? The patch bay is set up, uh, again, in an industry standard fashion where outputs are on the top row, inputs are on the bottom. However, there were cases where we had to use some through configuration where we had um, the uh, same piece of equipment on the top and the bottom, in which case the, the output of that device was on the top row and the input was on the bottom row and we had to set those particular patch points to through. Um, but there are more intuitive connections happening, like for instance, the um, microphone uh, inputs from our stage box, our snake, into the microphone inputs of the Toft console. Um, that is a half normal connection, so you don't actually have to patch anything. If you plug a microphone into the stage box on stage in number one, it automatically goes to the preamp on the Toft Audio Console in number one, which the output of naturally goes to the analog to digital converter or the Orion interface number one, which goes into Pro Tools number one, um, which then comes out output one and goes to your, your monitor. So it's all normal. And we had you know six connections I just described, and at no point do you actually have to patch anything with a patch cable. Um, it's always kind of commonly known in the industry that uh, a well-designed patch bay requires few cables uh, 
when you're just doing normal operation. Reach for the secret too soon. Cry for the moon. Song by Pink Floyd that I was gonna do. Which one? Shine on Crazy Die and all those parts that you were talking about.